had a question this morning. Good morning. It was about uh, bloating. So I thought I'd go through quick natural remedies. There's loads of stuff being flown around at the moment, juice detox and all sorts. And I just wanna just remind you of the basics before we go on. So number one would be to sit down when you eat. You generally eat slower when you do this and you might not shovel it in. You'll be aware of how much you eat. And that brings me on to number two. You might then end up eating smaller meals. So if you're maybe skipping meals, um, fasting, and then eating a bigger meal, that load of food going into your gut at one time could cause bloating, potentially. Three, drink more water. Fiber will soak up water. Um, that could give you a bit of stomach cramp, um, indigestion. Hi, Norma. Good morning. Number four, put your knife and fork down between bites. Might just slow you down. Even if you do it once, just notice it. And on that note, while we are there, chew more, okay? So just count your chews. Chew, chew. Count your chews next time you take a, eat something. And then just add 10 onto it. Like this is a really, I know it sounds really obvious, but digestion starts in your mouth. Like we actually have amylase, which breaks down carbohydrates, for example, in your mouth, which starts the digestion in your mouth. So it's not, if it's not in your mouth for long enough, you might already, you're giving yourself a disadvantage for your gut. That might end up with you feeling bloated. Number five, it could be that you've increased your fiber too quick and you're feeling a bit bloated. So what you might want to do is just lower your fiber intake a little bit. Okay, so that could be like um, looking at whole grains, brown foods, how much are you adding in? Beans, lentils, all of a sudden. Like it could be that you just lower them off a little bit and just go a bit easy on them. Hope that helps. That's five, six, seven-ish things that you can do natural remedies for bloating that could help. And I want to throw one more in there actually because this one is very evidence-based actually and often overlooked, which is yoga and meditation. Yoga and meditation. In fact, yoga was shown to be just as effective. Yoga was found to be just as effective as a FODMAP diet, which is lowering fibrous foods as um, a FODMAP diet. So yoga was just as effective. Interesting. Only in one study, but it's interesting to see how stress plays such a role in bloating and IBS, which comes back down to self-care and looking after you. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know and have a great day. Hi, Dinah.